Hello, welcome to John B, the RD, the research desk. Today, we'll be covering how to start a vending machine business, but this only covers the candy machine. So let's get into the basics. You're interested in starting a vending machine business? Great decision. According to Forbes magazine, operating a vending machine a vending route is one of the easiest businesses to start. And the best part, especially recession-proof business has the potential to earn a return on investment the instant you set up your first vending machine. So gumballs.com has helped launch hundreds of vending machine businesses through machines, supplies, and advice over the years that we have been in business. Helping entrepreneurs get their business started is one of the most rewarding parts of selling vending machines. Before driving in, thinking through a few basics will help you build a strong foundation for vending machine success. Steps to starting a vending machine business. One, decide if vending is right for you. Two. Do your homework. Three, target your vending customers and decide what you want to vend. Four, find and secure vending locations. Five, choose the right vending machines, equipment, and supplies. Six, service and maintain your vending machines. Seven, start small with vending. Deciding if vending is right for you before making any purchases, consider you have what it takes to operate a vending machine or business. Here are some things to consider. Do you want to make some extra money on the side? How will you locate placements for your machine? Are you observant to notice traffic areas and com comfortable asking managers for permission to place your machine? Can you dedicate a few minutes per machine for a regular service? Can you balance the cost of the business in addition to tending and filling the machine? Do you know what the customers in your area like? If you can locate good places for your machines, know your customers and have the wherewithal to tend machines and business, vending might be a good choice for you. Two, do your homework. Before setting up a vending machine business, determine the cost of business and analyze the location. Some things to consider. Find a re reputable supplier of commercial quality vending machines like Gumball.com. How many potential customers might purchase an item from the vending machine? If your vending machine is in a public location, observe the foot traffic. If your vending machine is placed in a break room, know the number of employees that will have access to the machine. Determine your cost of business by adding together all the overhead costs, including the cost of vending equipment, vending supplies, transportation, vehicle and fuel, etc. How much do you need to price your vending items to turn a profit? Remember that vending machines are a one-time cost and that the vending machines will need to be up and running for some time before realizing a profit. Numbers will fluctuate depending on if you purchase cases of gumballs, bulk candy, or toy capsules, etc. and bulk where you might get a discounted rate or if you decide to sell a product that costs more. The beauty of vending machines is that it can be tweaked along the way to see what works for you and what doesn't while maximizing your profits. Three, target your customers and decide what to vend. You purchased your vending machine and identified your location. Now for the sweet stuff. Help decide what items to vend from your vending machine. 
To achieve maximum results, spend some time investigating different varieties of gumballs and bulk candy before loading your vending machine. Without the right product, even a vending machine set in a great location might not do so well. Keep in mind that while in the final decision of what to vend is yours, it's a good idea to ask the location manager about any candy or gumball preferences. Gumballs are the highest profit bulk candy available, and they are a great option because they have a long shelf life and are not affected by heat from the sun. Plus, no, gumballs.com does not recommend placing any gumballs or candy machines in direct sunlight. If you choose to vend gumballs, be sure to check them periodically to be sure they are not soft to bite. Gumballs generally stay soft enough for chewing for 10 to 18 months, but can get hard over time. The most common size gumballs for dispensing from a commercial gumball machine is one inch. If you want to vend one inch gumballs, be sure your machine is set with a gumball dispensing wheel. The assorted varieties are best sellers, but do not overlook some of the more specialty flavors or varieties. Some ideas, if your machine is located near the beach, try beach ball or beach, beach time gumballs or baseball gumballs. Varieties are best sellers, but do not overlook some of during baseball season. If you prefer not to have a look, logo on your gumballs. Try, try the Bubble King Special Assorted. Try the red, white, and green assorted over the holidays or white, red, white, and blue around 4th of July. Or just pick your favorite flavor. Personal favorites among the gumball experts at gumballs.com include lemonade, picked up lemonade sour gumballs, nerdy candy filled gumballs, Cry Baby Guts Sour Filled Gumballs, and Bulk Candy. The number one selling bulk candies are M&M's, both plain and peanut. However, consider your location before loading your candy machine. Is the machine near a window with exposure to the sun? M&M's and greasy pieces or any type of bulk candy that can melt may not be the best choice. Non-chocolate. Top selling bulk candy options include Mike Nikes, Skittles, Chewy Sprees, and Runts. Be wary of Mike and Ike's and hot tamales if your machine has sun exposure. While they do not melt like chocolate candies, they can get soft when they are warm and can stick together, which can make them difficult to vend. Skittles, Chewy Sprees, Runts, and Polar Mints or other hard shelled candies are great options for machines with sun exposure. The hard shell on the outside keeps the product from getting too soft. Bouncy balls and a 27 millimeter size are an alternate option for machines set with a one inch gumball wheel. These are a great non candy option and bouncy balls are always fresh. Vending Temporary tattoos, stickers, or toy capsule filled with items that are currently hot with kids and teens are great in areas that attract a young crowd. Gumball.com offers the latest vending supplies targeted toward the younger population, including bouncy balls, toy capsules, gumballs, bulk candy, and more. If the location is appropriate for larger snacks, a soda, and snack machine, just be sure you have access to an electrical outlet is a great choice. Or stock your vending machines with bulk chiclet gum, mint, or nuts. If placing your vending machine in a break room, ask your business contact what type of snacks and soft drinks the employees would like. Be sure setting up any vending machines, be sure that you have adequate space for your machines as well, access to an electric outlet if needed. Gumball and candy machines are set with either a gumball dispensing wheel 
or a candy dispensing wheel. Or your machine may come with both dispensing wheels. And it's up to you to decide which one you're going to want to use based on what you choose to bend. The difference between a gumball and a candy dispensing wheel is the shape of the holes. Gumball dispensing wheels and candy dispensing wheels are interchang interchangeable. A gumball dispensing wheel has round holes intended to dispense a one inch item, such as one inch gumball, a 27 millimeter bouncy ball, or one inch toy capsule. A candy dispensing wheel has holes in the shape of a pizza slice that are adjustable to dispensing more or less products. Use this wheel if you are dispensing bulk candy, smaller gumballs, 62 inch or smaller. Chocolate gum, nuts, chocolate, covered espresso beans, etc. Four, find and secure bending location. Identifying and securing the right location for your bending machine is key to a, building a successful bend, bending machine business. Following are some tips to identify the new location, places to look and approaching business owners and managers. From now on, wherever you go, keep your eyes peeled for business or busy location. Any location with a lot of foot traffic is a good location for vending machine. Certain types of business have repeatedly been successful location. These include shopping centers, laundry mats, restaurants, skating rinks, bowling alleys, shopping malls, boys and girls clubs, high school, movie theaters, college, markets, coffee shops, banks, automotive centers, caverns, and apartment complexes. Some surprisingly successful locations that we have come across include auction facilities, airports, casinos, bingo halls, and horseback riding facilities. <clears throat> Remember, any place with steady foot traffic is a good location for a vending machine. Always keep your eye peeled for more of secure locations that could prove to be really favorable. Approach the location owner and propose to set up a gumball machine or candy machine or vending machine within their store. Explain to them that you will completely service the machine yourself. Let them know that the machine takes up less than two quarter feet of floor space, does not need any electricity, and will provide their customers with a great service. Best of all, they will earn a percentage of the gross sales. Anywhere from 15% to 33%, it's up to you. Typically, they usually offer the store owner to rent space for 6 to 10%. See if they buy it on that. But if competition is thick, then you might want to offer the 15 to 33%. Be prepared to offer a commission and create a written document that outlines your agreement with the location. Or you could offer a percentage of proceeds to a charity that is supported by a business. Offer the location manager a percentage of earnings from the vending machine various a flat fee. You do not know how much money your machine will generate until it is operational. Offering a percentage will avoid giving all your earnings to the location manager should your machine not perform. Set up your machine and start making money. Once you set up the first machine, find another location and start the entire process over again. Finally, there are vending machine location services available. And if you are short on time and having trouble identifying locations on your own, you might consider working with one. Keep in mind that these services do charge a premium for their service, which will cut into your, your bottom line. We have found that one of the most effective ways to identify a location is to take notice of where you don't see vending machines as you are carrying out the business of your day. Would adding vending machine make sense?
What is the foot traffic like? Good luck. Five. Choose the right vending machines, equipment, and supplies. Which machine should I choose? What products should I vend? Six. Service and maintain your vending machines. Your vending route is only as strong as your machines, so servicing and maintaining the vending machines in your route is essential. Adjusting or charging your dispensable wheel. How to attach a gumball machine to a stand. Replacing a gumball machine lock. Servicing your machine. Changing a coin me mechanism. Taking your gumball machine apart and putting it back together. Seven, small, start small with vending. Once you've secured some locations, it's time to purchase the machine and get them up and running. Need to the vending machine business? Try starting with smaller machines that require a minimal upfront investment. This is a gumball machine or a triple head candy machine. Maintenance on these machines is very minimal when checked on a regular basis. Plus, no electrical hookup is required. Gumball and candy machines are small, but they offer mighty profit margins. Here's a basic breakdown. Prices subject to change. Purchase one gumball machine with a stand and a case of 850 assorted one-inch gumballs for a total first-time investment of around $190.98 plus shipping. $100.29 for a basic gumball vending machine with, with stand and $44.12 for one case of Z one inch assorted gumballs. Assuming your gumball machine is equipped with a $0.25 coin mechanism, you will make $212.50 once all 850 gumballs are sold. The initial profit before shipping cost is $21.52. If you have a $0.50 coin mechanism on your gumball machine, you will make $425 once all the gumballs are sold which increases your profit to $234.02. As you continue, the profit margin will grow because now that you own the vending machines, you, use, you usually only need product to fill them, along with occasional parts if you purchase another case of 850 assorted one-inch gumballs starting at $39.99 plus shipping at gumball.com and place them in a gumball machine with zero with 25 cent coin mechanism you profit once all 850 gumballs are sold increasing to 168 dollars and 38 cents so i hope you liked this video and if you did please be sure to give a like share and subscribe now see you next time